Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Jim Intercept Custom FB. Uh, I gotta remember to add the FB, because the standard Jim Intercept is a uh, separate animal. Uh, FB, thanks to everybody in the comments on last week's update video who told me it stands for Fellow Booster, uh, is the Fellow Booster is the fancy backpack it's wearing with the cute little Darth Vader tie wings. Um, and... It has a really nice suite of weapons. It can either either use its own double rocket launcher or the uh, G3 Gundam's Hyper Bazookas. Uh, G3 Hyper Bazookas have more ammo and a little bit more range. These do a little bit more damage. Um, and as you can see, it has a nice lunging downswing, which is pretty great. And, ow. And, yeah, it is... A, it is... It's a general, it's kind of oriented towards melee, does more melee than ranged damage, but you can kind of set it up for range too, which is what I've done here. I threw on as, uh, the, uh, I think it's the level, it's the level 3-in-1 or 4-in-1 ranged parts in the quick loader, in addition to uh, uh, thrust recovery up plus 10% and whatever else would fit. But yeah, it's it's got, uh, ra it's got a uh, missile launcher and a beam spray gun as its sub-weapons. You can get about three consecutive shots off on the beam spray gun without pausing until, uh, before it overheats. But it also has maneuver armor and, uh, uh, and uh, forced injection. So it's got, and it's, uh, it's got pretty good skills. It, I, I like the thing. It's a 350 pointer at level one. And unfortunately the bazookas do take a long time to reload even with the quick loader. Um, I'm fighting the other new mobile suit, the Bishop, one of the models of Saikamuzaku right now. And, yeah, as you can see, it does have the wire-guided uh, uh, beam arms that the Zeong has. And they kind of tore me to shreds because it is a support. Uh, but let me tell you, the first time I saw uh, saw those hands coming at my face, I, I kind of freaked out a little bit. I was not expecting that. So, yeah, that, but... Yeah, I like the gym intercept, and our, our team is all intercepts and bishops, and it does pretty well. Uh, I also played around in the uh, new Space Fortress map with it, but I was not as uh, as fond of it there. I, I feel like having the extra room to maneuver out here is uh, worth... is kind of beneficial for it. I'm not good at getting it to boost long enough to, uh, to get the benefits of maneuver armor yet. I do not soak a lot of hits very well in this. Part of that's because as I'm using the forced injection uh, as you change directions I'm pretty sure you're temporarily uh, temporarily vulnerable. So that is kind of a bad thing. Oh yeah, it also has AMBAC. Yeah, and a lunge that, uh, you know, it's going to be a good foil for the draw C even though they're not available at the same point values yet. I'd kind of like to see a, a higher level uh, draw C put in just because that would be an interesting, this would be an interesting foil for it. Because, yeah, it's got a similar lunge, it's got better ranged options. You know, maybe, actually, maybe that's a terrible idea because it could probably tear draw, uh, draw C to shreds. But, yeah, so getting the checkpoint here. This is a rare round because nobody even thought about going after the Skiri, which is a nice change. I thought I saw a, a, a beam at one point, so maybe somebody had it once, but yeah, not uh, not a lot of scary action in this round, and that's nice. I'm not sure, like, mobile suits with big backpacks and odd body types can't use the scary, so I'm not sure if anyone our, on our team actually can, because the bishop is kind of uh, kind of chunky, and the intercept has the gigantic backpack. We Neither of us may fit. Okay, got that kill. But yeah, you get uh, six consecutive shots with the uh, double bazookas, uh, with the double rocket launchers magazines. Um, the double hyper bazookas on the G3, of course, get ten consecutive shots, so and have slightly better range. So it's only a 50 point, I think, no, it's a 100 point damage difference, only a 50 point range difference, but still. You, there is, I'd say, a legitimate... Uh, a legitimate uh, use for the G3 bazookas, especially if you're looking at running uh, running this as a ranged machine, using these rocket launchers and the beam spray gun to follow up on your shots instead of the downswing. Downswing, again, I just really like it, so 
I, I kind of see myself using it a lot, because that. I mean, just that it, it's pretty much the Vish Donahue sweep, but in space, as Maelstrom said to me. And he's right, because, and yeah, that is great. Like I said, his big weakness is the, uh, is the reload time on the bazookas, which is approximately forever. I think I'm probably about to get killed again here, because that bishop is kind of hammering me. But I'm not the only thing here, so... Got some good damage in on that on my fellow intercept there, and may as well while it's down start on the bishop. The bishop is dangerous. Ah, uh, I've got a round with that uh, coming up from uh, uh, Darth Merrick tomorrow, and yeah, I'm I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing how he does with it because he uh, said you know he's not general generally a support player. And he really enjoyed it, so I, I'm kind of uh, I want to see how he does. Like I said, the thing's been pretty uh, pretty good against me in this round, and just in the couple of rounds I played with it, so it's not bad. But yeah, we've got a 2,000 point lead. I've got uh, I'm gonna launch an airstrike because I do that, and yeah, it's going. It is a round that is going pretty well, and they're clustered nicely. I'm not sure if I'll catch any of them, but it's definitely worth trying, because, man, that was a good grouping. And back into the robot. And we will take off towards uh, the enemy here, who will probably spread out. Got one. Just one, but one is better than my average space airstrike, so... I forget what my rankings are in space. I think I'm a. I think on this account I am a B minus or a B uh, flat, and on my standard account I'm like a C plus or C minus, something like that. But uh, yeah, it's ah the split up rankings. I don't know how I feel about, but they are. But you know, I don't. Uh, I'm still not gonna probably. I'm. I'm not gonna break my neck trying. Uh, trying to get a. Uh, a rank in space, I'll tell you that. Now, I should have just started backing off uh, then with everybody shooting me in the back. Just with the whole team on me and uh, apparently a lot of bishops on hand, that was just a, a bad idea to stick around because that was, uh, yeah, they just murdered me. But I had I stuck my nose out and it got cut off. That's just what happens. Saw somebody else going for the uh, airstrike and, you know, I fully support this notion. We've got a very narrow lead that I want to keep. I sent Titan defenses because I don't want anyone to make the mistake I just did. Because if we can stick together and fend them off, we've got this. As it is, there's only a couple of us that are close to death, so that's not quite enough to even it up for them, but it's close enough that I am playing extremely defensively and attacking from a great distance. So I really don't want to screw this up as well as this is going. But luckily, we just got some more points, and... Yeah, got a couple kills at the end there, and uh, they got some too, but not enough. So yeah, that is the Jim Intercept Custom. It has a really great range of weapons. It's, uh, I feel like it's easier to use than the Thunderbolt Gundam, and as you can see, this is only my second round with it, and I've done pretty well. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, and until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I hope we get the standard version of the Jim Intercept custom back as well. I believe that is the raid that could use a charging beam sniper rifle in the first game, and that was... I was bad with it, but it was fun to use. <laughs>